All right, guys, it is 4.30, uh, the same day. It was this morning that I was out here and had all the weird going on. That's exactly where we were, where the sun is setting back there now. Gonna take a walk around here. I got the dog with me, gonna look for tracks. Well, I've still got some sunlight, maybe got an hour left before dark. I don't have any flashlights or anything with me, so in and out, that's my plan. Here's my track from this morning. We just kind of zigzagged through here. Keeping a close eye on the dog, I want to see if he reacts to anything, if he smells anything. So right in here is the dark woods that we didn't go in this morning. And we're going to go in there right now. Well, I've got some light. Well, I've got the dog. Feeling much braver. <laughs> I just wanted to point out that right up in here somewhere was where I saw that flash of light this morning. This is also where we heard the whistle, just up here another hundred yards. Just somewhere in there, the whistle came out of there this morning. Okay, so I actually came in here further than I thought this morning. There's my footprints from this morning. It's where we turned around. And uh, we're right in the deep, scary part right here, right on the edge of it. <laughs> yeah. Weird. Actually, look where I turned around. I didn't realize this morning. Ha! <laughs> There's our 90 acre trail right here. I was only 20 feet from it. Part of it, anyway. And there are no human tracks on here. Squirrel tracks. So this afternoon I can hear lots of dogs barking. I can hear school buses going by out there. We're maybe 800 yards from the road I live on. So traffic, I can hear it. This morning, there was a bit of noise. I referred to it as I could hear the city. Well, we're right on the edge of a, of a town here. Uh, 55,000, something like that. And on a cold morning like this morning, you can hear traffic and stuff for a long ways. There's also a lake back here. So sound carries a long ways. But there were some weird things I was hearing this morning. There were five knocks captured on the video I made this morning and a whistle. Unfortunately, I missed the two big, heavy, loud wood knocks that started the whole thing. They were way more intense than anything we captured on the video this morning. Um, and the whistle. When I listen to it on the video, it doesn't sound like what my ears heard. I heard like a person whistling. One straight note. And the dog thinks I'm whistling for him. No, I'm not whistling for you. <laughs> but that did make me think of something. I thought of this earlier today. Is something mimicking me whistling for the dog? Because that's how I whistle for the dog. Just a straight tone to make him come. You'll also notice that the levels on that video this morning were all over the place. Um... So what happens when you have this external microphone plugged in, if you unplug it while you're recording, the sound doesn't start again when you plug the microphone back in. That's how I missed the second wood knock this morning. Because I unplugged the microphone, turned it around, went to plug it back in, and I said, oh, I can't do that. And so I had to stop recording and restart it, and it was just in between. I definitely prefer not bringing the dog with me because he's just... Literally, he's carrying an eight-foot stick right now, and he's whacked me five times while I'm trying to record this. Running all over. He d 
I think he's too dumb to actually pick up on if there was something here to actually pay attention to it. <sighs> no killer instinct. That's what this guy's missing. Yeah, you, you whack me with that again. So I just saw the pileated woodpecker in a tree. I am 100% sure that is not the whistle I heard this morning. They sound like monkeys. Like a... Well, I can't imitate it, but if you've heard the pileated, they don't whistle. So what whistled at me this morning? I have no idea. That's the pileated woodpecker. Sounds like laughing or monkeys. Doesn't sound like a whistle. I'm, I'm hoping the camcorder picked that up. So this morning as well, a couple of times I could hear a sound that I couldn't describe. It was like a background noise mixed with like a growl. And when I say I heard huffing, it was like Hur! Like that, like a growl and an exhale at the same time. That's what I mean by huffing. <sighs> the camera didn't pick it up that I could tell, but there was another point in the video which I put the time stamp in the first comment, 1333 I think it was, it kind of sounds like a growling. Now was that me rubbing my hand on the camera and making an adjustment? When I played back the video it sounded Awful similar to what I thought I heard in the field, which was like a weird huffing growl. So I do feel better coming back out here right now. I mean, hey, it's daylight, so. I just heard a tree squeak. But I don't think there was any chance of you guys getting me back out here this morning. I can't explain that light. I, it's almost like a flash, just went off. I, I caught it out of the corner of my eye. I looked, as soon as I looked, it was gone. But there was something there that flashed that caught my attention and made me look. And then the camcorder was not recording anymore. It was in playback mode. I have never seen that with this piece of gear before. Can't explain that. So I know a couple guys right away said get the drone and get going and my brother was one of them. I had to make a decision tonight when I got home from work. I had time to come for a walk and actually look for tracks and stuff or do the droning. I couldn't do both. I didn't have enough time. So I just find that the drone covers a lot of ground but I can't see anything specific with it unless I'm, you know, unless I caught something out in the swamp. Going across the swamp, then yeah. I just felt that the choice was better for me mentally to get back out here and do a walk as well. And if you guys just heard that in the background, that's a skidoo about three miles out on the lake. The microphone may or not have picked that up, so somebody's going to comment, I heard whatever at whatever time. Nah, there's skidoos out on the lake as well. Well, you can see behind me the sun has gone down. I got a 25 minute walk back to the house. I'm halfway around the 90 acre trail. And uh, I haven't seen any tracks of anything other than deer, fox, rabbit, fisher. Uh, that's about it. I kind of knew I wasn't going to find any tracks. I don't know. I just, I've never seen a track in winter that I can't explain, so. But I have had some stuff happen that I can't explain. And I still have that feeling in my stomach. Pretty sure it's just from being freaked out this morning.
get out of the woods before it's dark. So I'm going. I'm gonna head out now. Whew. See, he comes to that whistle. So what has been following me around that I can't see and mimicked my whistle this morning? It's freaking me out just thinking about it. Well, if I get eaten or carried away to be Bigfoot sex slave, it's all in the name of science, right? Hopefully the camcorder, before it hits the ground, will get some groundbreaking video evidence for you. If not, that would be a complete, complete loss, complete shame. I should have two cameras on me running all the time, one behind me and one in front. I should get one of those GoPro back of the head mounts. Do they make such a thing? If they don't, I should just invent something. Because this morning, I'll tell you, it sure felt like something was looking at the back of my head. Every sense in my body was like, don't go any further. I'm a little braver now because I can see where I'm going, but I still have that feeling. I have that feeling right now. I know it needs to be done, I just don't want to do it. Not by myself. And that's night investigations out here on the trail. I need somebody out here with me. I don't want to be one of those featured stories on the next Missing 411 book series. Sasquatch guy goes missing. The lessons I learned this morning are this. If there's something out there that you're trying to capture evidence of, you take the camera, you keep your mouth shut, and you just go and film. Because every time I open my mouth to talk today, I seem to be covering up evidence. Okay guys, I made it. I can see my house. Good timing. It's going to be dark here in the next half hour. Safe and sound for now. I know it has to be done, like I say. I gotta get out here and do some night exploration, but I definitely don't want to do that alone. So I don't know. Is it going to happen? I don't know. I still haven't completely wrapped my mind around a flash of light in the trees. Blows my mind. Mind blown. Alright, I'll catch you guys in the next video. I don't know when that's going to be. If anything strange happens, I'm looking, I'm listening, and we'll be recording.